Hello everyone, happy Monday, how are you? Real and Raw at Four with Rebecca Adams at RebeccaAdamsBiz.com. It is Bank Holiday Monday in the UK, so if you're in the UK, let me know what you've been up to, that would be incredible. And I am, as always, I'm going to go down the list, uh, list and invite people as well. So let me know how your week are, what's serving for you, hello Katie, hope you're okay honey. So say hi to your mum as well. Hope everything is as well as it could be. But let me know how your bank holiday's gone. If you're in the UK, let me know what you've been up to. You've been to the beach? Have you been taking photos? What is it for you? Have you been for a walk, taking the dogs? Have you been working? Have you been just chilling out, watching TV? What have you been up to? That would be incredible. So let me know. I know that Carrie will be with the horses. I know lots of people who've been working. And there we go. Hello, Charlotte. How are you, gorgeous lady? Hope you're okay. Hi, Gemma. Hi, Rachel. I love the mug that you bought. Hello, Alison. I love the mug you bought for Danny for a birthday. And Danny Mailey. Hi, Jenny. Danny Mailey, one of my guest speakers from Incredible. Let me know about the connection, guys, um, because it's coming up sometimes. It's it's unconnected, so let me know. Charlotte said, been and bought a new laptop. Fantastic. I love it. Fantastic. Yay. So you can do everything. So this is going to be an actionable um, live, guys. So if you want to go and grab a notebook and pen, it's um, four little things that you can do right now. Hi, Erica. Four little things that you can do right now that you can actually implement. Hello, Alison. How is work? Lovely. And Erica... Erica was in a pageant at the weekend. Kate says, we've been down to see Dad, put flowers on the grave. Fantastic. Love it. Love it. Hi, Sylvia. Hope you're okay. Lovely. Connection seems fine. That would be amazing. Absolutely amazing. So this is going to be an actionable thing. And you know what, how I feel about mindset, about gratitude and everything. So this is very, very actionable. And I've got some pointers as well. So you've had a crazy pageant weekend. I've seen the photos, they're incredible. I love it, I love it. So let me know how your bank holiday's gone in the UK. In the UK, we have a bank holiday. We've got one today. We've got one at the end of the month as well, the last Monday of the month. Erica says, I didn't win, but great to do, help my confidence. I love it. Anyone who wants to, you know, participate in battery low I'm out and about so I may have to watch some back on replay no worries honey no worries go and make memories with Lola it's absolutely fantastic I hope you've had an incredible day and in weather as well so step number one guys on the gratitude now with gratitude I straight away okay say that I'm grateful for my health because dot 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 because the power's in after that okay but what I want you to do is make a list of 10 things that you're grateful for blessings anything okay so 10 things on why you're grateful why are you grateful for those 10 things hi angel hope you're okay how's your mom i hope carrie's okay and what i want you to do is when you've made a list of those 10 blessings or things that you're grateful for is to reread them go over them after you've written them down or you've, you know, recorded them on audio, I want you to listen to them and read them again. Because it's all right writing it down, we're all busy, busy people, writing down everything you're grateful for and going, okay, I've done that, Rebecca says that, that's it, let's move on. It's not that, so do you know what I mean? It keeps freezing, okay. Chirfy, I'm not having anyone on, on with me, so let me open the door. So see if that helps. If not, I'll have to go and sit on the naughty step. Keeps freezing. I don't even know why. So it's probably because my son has 50 million things all connected to the internet. But there we go. So let me know how the freezing goes, guys. So what I want you to do is write down 10 things that you're grateful for and the reason why, and then reread them of why you're grateful for them. And then what I want you to do, this is where it goes in. Hello, Danielle. And um, this is where it gets we, we love you amazing people love it love it love it is what i want you to do is write down three people that you're grateful for hi jenny three people that you're grateful for and why why are you grateful for those three people hello birthday girl can everyone wish danny a happy birthday that would be amazing so write down not only the 10 blessings of why you're why you're grateful for those things and reread them but also number two number two is Hi, Teresa, I hope you're okay. So number two is to write down three people that you're grateful for. Why are you grateful? Why are you grateful for those 
done, how are they helping you, things like that. So everyone's saying hi and happy birthday to Danny, it's fantastic. So write down those three people that have made a difference in your life and why they've made a difference in your life. Because people people can come and go, people can really create impact and give value. I know one guy for me is called Michael, he's in America, absolutely outstanding guy, everything changed from then, you know. Let's have a look at some of these comments. Everyone's saying happy birthday. Katie says, mum says hi. She's a bit down today. So I'm cooking a roast pork dinner. Enjoy the dinner. She is going to be down. It's only day three, Katie. Only day three. Keeps freezing. Happy birthday, weirdo cult leader. Happy birthday, soul sister. So let's go and sit downstairs. So that would be amazing. So let me know whether it does keep freezing. Okay. So the third thing is that what I want you to do is, with those three people that you've jotted down, okay, is work through one person at a time and jot down um, the reason why you're grateful for them. What have they done? How have they impacted you? And over the course of your life, it could be a parent, it could be a grandparent, it could be a mentor, it could be a friend, um, it could be anyone or anything in your life that could profound effect on you do you know what I mean for the greater good for positivity so um I have no idea probably because it's bank holiday is why in the UK is why all the because all the kids are off aren't they on holiday so they'll all be connected to the internet like all round and about you know what I mean and it's like seriously and then what I want you to do is before you go to bed tonight I want you to look at your list of all the 10 things, the 10 blessings, the 10 things that you're grateful for, okay, and the reason why you're grateful for them, and I want you to read over them, and then have a look at the three people that you're grateful for, why you're grateful for them, what effect have they had on your life, how have they bettered your life, how have they really helped you, and then go from there, okay, and read them before bed, and just submerse yourself into gratitude completely, because, you know what, life's a train journey, and, you know, being grateful and, and everything is absolutely incredible, outstanding, it gets us on the right frequency, it gets us on the high vibration frequency of everything, doesn't it? Alison says, just wanted to share with you all, I've just started reading The Magic, another of the secret room, recommend it, it is, it is absolutely fantastic, all of Rhonda Byrne's books are really incredible. Freezing still, is it just mine? Right, I'm going to go on the um, stairs. So I'm going to move down onto the stairs and then I'm going to tell some people to come off the internet. Hello, can you come off the internet? Thank you. No, I don't because I'm on a live. Hello. So we're going to go downstairs. You've seen a little bit of my house. You don't see my house, but we're going to do a live. Don, can you come off the internet a little bit? He's not even in there, so there we go. So we'll sit here. So um, anyway, so being full of gratitude, you sat in my thing. So the internet is right there. We've got a New York picture up the top. And um, that little thing there, the black thing there, okay, uh, no, it's happiness. It's all about happiness. So happiness is absolutely fantastic. Hello, Julie. So I'm sat on the stairs. Let me know about the signal, guys, because this always happens when we have bank holiday and half term and stuff, doesn't it? Because all the kids are all out there and they're all on the internet. However, I pay a ton for my internet. So it shouldn't be being affected. You got a cracking screenshot then. I know, right? So the one thing with gratitude is that it keeps you humble. It keeps you focused. It keeps you present in the moment. And it actually helps you to really submerse into everything that you're grateful for and keeps the ego down, keeps all the, oh, look at me, I'm on a pedestal type of thing down, because you're staying grounded and you're looking after everything in your life. So, do you know what I mean? So it really is um, something that I really, really encourage you to do. So four steps for you to do, okay, is number one, list 10 things, 10 blessings or 10 things that you're grateful for and the reason why you're grateful for them, okay? And, the, you know, because it's, I'm grateful for my health because dot, dot, dot. I'm grateful for my money because dot, dot, dot. Grateful for my business um, opportunities and my life experiences and opportunities because dot, dot, dot. 
I'm grateful for the people in my life because and whatever, okay? So number two is to choose three people that you're grateful for, why you're grateful for them and what have they brought forward to you. And then if you wanted to, you could actually contact them and tell them why they mean something to you and why they've impacted your life so much positively, I'll say. And then the fourth one is before you go to bed, read everything you've written and just stay humble and grounded and just zone in and keep those feet on the ground. Okay, always know that with your feet on the ground, okay, imagine roots coming down a bit like a tree, roots coming down and keeping you grounded, firm on the earth, okay. Hello, Naomi. This connection keeps going funny and I don't know why. Is it still going funny, guys, or is it okay? Big hugs, Alison's big hugs. I hope work is okay. Let me know what you're grateful for. So let me know, I can't say the words but like because of Facebook algorithms, but let me know what you're grateful for. Just one thing you're grateful for. That would be amazing. You've been petting baby lambs. That's amazing. I hope you've had an incredible day. Still on your side, it is pausing and going funny. Maybe someone's trying to hack into my internet. Hello, Emma in Bath. How are you? Keeps freezing. There's nothing I can do. I'm not going to come back. I don't come back after after I go off alive. I don't come back. So you're going to have to put up with the freezing, guys. It's going funny my end. Yes. Well, I'm going to go. So I hope you have a day. Know that you can and will achieve anything you set your mind to. Focus on gratitude because it does keep you humble and grounded. Keep going always. And Gemma says, all the inspirational women I've met lately and they stand together. I love it. Absolutely fantastic. So I'll repeat again. Keep going always. Have an incredible evening, whatever you're doing. Hopefully on Friday, the internet will be fine and I will see you soon. Bye.